Town officials, local business leaders, and government officials, along with the Chamber of Commerce, gathered at Yogurt Beach to welcome the frozen yogurt shop to downtown Hopkinton. One, two, three. Coming to town, uh, we have just a little uh, thank recognition from the chamber. Thank you to the Cooney family for investing in our community and bringing great tasting treats to the town. Welcome to Hopkinsville. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. To be here um, to welcome this wonderful, tasty new uh, eating option to Hopkinton. I have to say, word is traveling fast. And uh, I was just told by a high school student that, in fact, Yogurt Beach does have the best selection of toppings anywhere in the vicinity. So uh, I suspect, strongly suspect, you're going to have a lot of uh, a lot of folks of all ages coming in. And it's just always nice to welcome a new business here to town, um, give our local folks some more options for food, delicious options for food, as well as really um, support locally owned downtown businesses which are so important to our community and to our main street. So it's really my honor and my pleasure to um, read a citation on behalf of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts and it reads, be it hereby known to all that the Massachusetts House offers its sincerest congratulations to Yogurt Beach and the police in recognition of the joyous occasion of your ribbon cutting ceremony in the community of Hockington. The entire membership extends its very best wishes and, and expresses the hope for future good fortune and continued success in all endeavors given today. Uh, 2015, signed by the Speaker of the House, Robert DeLeo, and Carol Lebeck, the Speaker of the Senate. So congratulations to you all. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, and from the Board of Selectmen, I'd just like to say thank you very much for, for investing in the downtown. This is this is just a great business to, to have right here. We needed, we absolutely needed a, a, a frozen treat shop in town. Um, and you know, this is this is part of that, that whole visioning that we were working on for the last year. This is you know the part of the downtown revitalization. I'd also like to thank the Major family for, for investing for doubling down on their investment, working next door, and then and then buying this building that was that was really falling into disre disrepair and really turning it into a jewel for the downtown. You know, and this is and also I want to you know also have the uh, uh, town hall double down also and in, in helping small businesses by holding their hands, you know, and, and and getting through some of the red tape and some of the bylaws that are in place that can sometimes slow down small businesses. And so that you're just a, a you know a, a, a light that uh, that we just want to continue and keep the downtown growing and prospering. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Yeah, thanks. Man. The planning board, welcome to downtown. Uh, as many people know, the planning board permit was probably the, the biggest hurdle to getting the seating here. In this this historic building had you no know, parking and has actually has one handicap spot. We need We're another there. dozen. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. Well, I want to talk a little bit about parking because it is a key thing. So we did a parking study a few years ago. Downtown Hopkinton really didn't have a, a parking problem except for three entities. Town Hall, the library, and center school didn't have enough parking, but the rest of the spots there was enough to take care of it all. And we changed our bylaws to allow only half the number of parking spots as what the square footage or the number of uh, tables, chairs, uh, seats in a restaurant would, would require. And with Greg's uh, new building he's starting on you know, next door, with this building, we're starting to use up some of our slack on the parking. And we're right now just about ready to go forward and we're on the list for redoing the downtown corridor, the road work, which we lose another 20 spots out on the street. So I'm using this as an opportunity to suggest to our selectmen that it's time to get some off-street parking so that businesses can come here. We, we don't want to be limited by the amount of seats are. People will vote not by their seat, that they'll vote by their feet or vote by not having a spot by not coming. We've got to fix this problem to help our local businesses. And it's time to, to, to do that at this point. Thank you. Thanks. And you welcome. Yep. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate yep. it. First of all, um, I can say 
looking out at the crowd and seeing a lot of awesome people here. I really appreciate everybody coming and taking a few minutes out of your busy schedules. Um, number two, I'd like to thank the Chamber of Commerce and, and Tim as well and uh, Ron for helping me out and putting this together. It's very nice of you to do. Thank you. Uh, also, I had written an open letter to the to Norman, the town manager, as it relates to the experience that we went through from the planning board to the water department and the uh, board of health department and so on and so forth. And I can honestly say you hear a lot of negative things and obstacles people have to go through and the difficulty it has been for certain businesses. I can tell you with all sincerity that it was, wasn't simple, but it was smooth. We ran into hurdles. They helped us get over hurdles. We had a couple of obstacles to do with uh, a grease trap back here that I won't get into details, but they, they gave us a lot of suggestions of how to get through it, as opposed to saying, hey, it's yours, good luck, take it easy. It was pretty neat, which I commend the town for doing that. Uh, lastly, I'd like to say we've been here for 22 years, and we had a hiatus a couple years ago um, and went down to Memphis for two years, and my kids weren't real happy about it, but uh, we went for two years and come back, and, and I will say that, and I was saying it to a, a couple gentlemen here earlier, you don't realize what you have until you leave it. And we left it for two years, and we came back for a reason, because we love Hopkinton, we love the school system, we love the people. It's very unique here that for a lot of you guys that may have been living here for a couple decades or a decade and haven't left and come back, I can tell you that it's a pretty neat place and we're very lucky to have it. I just wanted to make that comment that you don't hear positive things and people need to hear that once in a while. And thanks for everybody coming. I appreciate it.